My name is Mustafa. I am working for Tema, which is an NGO in Turkey. Hadi gelsene sen. I'm I'm a local person from Yusuf Ali, so I I love it very much. I describe Yusuf Ali as undiscovered heaven. Here is the Shoro River. 15 dams will be built on this river. After the dam is built, the, uh, the whole town will be flooded. Yusuf Ali is one of the biodiversity hotspots in, in the world. Uh, that's because uh, you can see so many important species of animals, insects, bears, butterflies and birds in this region. The Çoruh River is at the heart of Turkey's ambitious plans for hydropower. Fifteen dams will be built here, part of a national project that will eventually see 3,000 working dams all over the country. One-tenth of Turkey's electricity will eventually come from this river. We are not against this kind of hydroelectric power plants or hydroelectric dams. As you see, here is the Borçka Dam, and uh, it's planned to be built uh, some kind of this uh, dam in Yusuf Ali. It's important for our country's future, for, for world future, because the hydroelectric power is not very expensive, it's cheap, and it's one of the cleanest way of uh, producing electricity. The problem is about biological diversity and uh, totally nature. You can do something like barrage, like dams, but you shouldn't damage the area. Yusuf Ali has its own microclimate and fertile soils. For the farmers in the Choru Valley, there are three harvests every year. Her çeşit sebze yetişir burada. Fasulye, patates, soğan. Bunun yanı sıra domates, salatalık. Tamam her şey yetişir yani. Thousands of plants and animals and insects, some of them endemic, live in these mountains. On the upper slopes, brown bears. Yusufele Dam will actually detrimental effect on the bear habitats and also while constructing the electrical power uh, wires, they will destroy everything in the forest and they will cut all the trees, they will open new roads. Bears can't move from one area to the another. One of the important biodiversity things is here, the plants. They provide food for people, medicine for people, money for people. They provide everything and there's plants and also they provide oxygen. Turkey's towns are developing. A growing economy means a growing energy demand. For the state, embracing hydropower is a necessary commitment to the future. And it's clean. Nuclear is better, I think nuclear is better than Islam, you know, Islam will change everything. Of course, our country needs electric, I agree this, of course, yeah, really we need electric, I know it. But, I need also electric, but you know, I'm a person, I live here. Energy'nin, ülkelerin gelişmiş ülkelerinden önemli yer. Ya bu enerji açığımızı nükleer enerjiden karşılayacağız, veya su kaynaklarımızı verimli, doğayla da barışık bir şekilde tabii. As you see here, nature and people very close to each other. Here people are uh, very careful about it. Uh, while farming, they don't use some chemical things and 
They try to help the nature in this area. Biraz koruyoruz yani girmesin diye ama girdiği yerinde giriyorsa da yiyorsa da afiyet olsun diyoruz. Arenin yanında kaldığı zaman insanın bir stresini atar. Biz de baraj olarak istemiyorum çünkü buranın bir doğal güzelliği var. Yani başka türlü konulardan elektrik üretebilirler. Orası da öyle doğal güzelliğiyle kalmasını istiyorum yani. The Turkish government says the dam will go ahead, but cannot say when. As the profile of Yusuf Ali as a biodiversity hotspot grows, European financial backers have withdrawn their support. The state hydraulic company refused our interview, calling the situation sensitive. For the 30,000 people who will be displaced, this is difficult. Yani şimdi Yusuf Ali barajını istiyor musunuz? Yanında mısınız? Karşısında mısınız? Sorusu herkesin inciten bir soru aslında sorarsanız. Nasıl bir soru bu? Efendim ölmek istiyor musunuz? Derdim bir şey. Hiçbirimiz ölmek istemeyiz. Ama öleceğimiz de biliriz. And that is it for this edition of Earth's Frontiers. Join us next month when we'll be taking a look at the very exciting new world of biomimicry. And do make a date to join us here in Kew Gardens in August when we will be bringing together a distinguished panel of experts to discuss the ethical, ecological and economic issues in the field of biodiversity. And you can submit your own questions to that panel at cnn.com slash earthsfrontiers. Do use that website. Until next time, goodbye.